Today's topic, we got some more Jubilee for y'all. We make assumptions about people all the time. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but how often are we actually right about the assumptions we make? And how often are we right about the assumptions other people make about us? To find out, we decided to put someone in the hot seat and have 100 strangers rate them 1 to 100 based on various levels of first impression. I feel like this would be a great title for a bukkake. <laughs> <laughs> we could say that, I don't care. It's a good question. I don't know. We'll find out. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm 20. What would you rate yourself? Average to good, like kind of in between seven, seven and a half. A 70 or 75. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Every girl's going to rate themselves Listen, a 7 to 5. Say what you want about Kevin Savage, but he had me die when he said, rate yourself from 1 to 10, but you can't use 7. This is why he said that. That's why he said that. And I agree. They almost always use 7 or 8. That's like the, 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 the number. They always... That's why I like it when a girl's like, I'm a 9. I'm a 9. Like, yeah, say that. If you think you that hard, say it. Yeah, I, can, I, I hate. I could disagree. I hate the fake humble. Oh, I could disagree. Oh, but yeah, say it. Say what you think. Everyone uses seven. <laughs> this first group of people will only be able to look at you. Can she show her ears? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to me? Can she show her ears? <laughs> She was like a very pretty girl. <laughs> For me, like a uh, hundred is like people who could be a, like a model. She wasn't really my type. She just looked like a plain, regular type of person. You just said she basic, which is fine. Okay, they all gave her like a hundred, like 75 was the lowest and everyone after that was like 80 and above. Mm -hmm. You know the problem with this kind of thing? It, it depends of, of your surroundings and what you're used to and what you can get if to you because when the, the guy that said oh, I, I gave her a hundred the guy that gave her a hundred I mean maybe he thinks that she out of her league and she's like well that's a hundred that's in the categories that is out of my league that is uh you know what I mean maybe it's because of his surrounding maybe the people around him mm, I know you it's possible there's a possible it doesn't necessarily mean that it is actually you know, to the world or whatever, whatnot, but... Yeah, okay, two things. One, if you have people's cameras on, then their face is on, and people are very reluctant to be mean to other people online. So, in terms of getting honest feedback, this is not the medium to do it generally, because most of these people, unless you have that black lady from the cut who just keeps it a buck, the rest of these people are not going to just say it like it is, right? True. <clears throat> and the second thing is, I think people confuse two things. They confuse what... I, me as a person, find attractive versus someone being attractive. I personally don't find her attractive at all. I do, she's not my type. I would never want to be. But I can also acknowledge that she's an attractive person. Mm -hmm. You're she, not attracted to her. Yeah. She's attractive. Yeah. But she just doesn't attract your kind of metal. Exactly. It's like, if I don't eat burgers, I wouldn't say burgers are delicious. Clearly, everyone loves burgers and they salivate over them. It's just, it doesn't exactly. suit my taste buds. Yeah, exactly. So those two things have to be, and I think that's a problem that a lot of people have. They impose their standard of what it's like they they impose their standard of like the, their personal opinion on what they think a quality product is and yeah. like i know some people who won't like a, a genre because it's horror it doesn't mean that all horror movies are trash to them yeah, they yeah, just don't like that category yeah. so i just think that's so what you said is like they're pretty good it was not your rating system it was it is an eight but it's not an eight I like. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's sure. plenty of beautiful women out there who I don't think are attractive to me. Yeah, of course. Because it's not my type, right? I look at models a lot of the time and just seeing their skinny figure it does not appeal to me. But I can understand that objectively a lot of people find that attractive. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
fun and quirkiness, and I'm loving it. I think she's absolutely stunning. One of the most beautiful people you could have chosen. <laughs> she's yeah. super pretty, and she's also, like, not afraid to be herself. And she also <laughs> sounds, like, really funny. Like, I just listened to a part of one of her videos. Mm, walking out the haters. And she was telling, like, a funny story, and that just made her even more pretty. <laughs> like, I'm about to cry. They're so nice. Obviously, she's very attractive. But, like, I see some of her posts where she's advocating for Black Lives Matter. I'm privileged, and I will never understand what it's like to be Black. She's woke, so she's hot. This is, yeah, this is, this is what you would expect from a Jubilee. It's, it's social media. It's not real, guys. Oh, my God. It doesn't mean anything. She supports Black Lives Matter, and that made her way more attractive. It's just crazy to me that people inject, like, their political views into viewing someone attractive. Oh, my God, you supported Trump? You're ugly. What? What are we talking about? Everybody else was saying that she was beautiful. I don't know. I didn't really find her attractive or anything. It's not the type of girl I'd usually like go for. There's people are so nice. I was like to cry. They're so sweet. I love how they were like really putting the importance on not just like the outside, but like on the inside. They're so sweet, so kind. How? It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Listen, I, I find this girl incredibly annoying, but I also think in her defense, as annoying as she may be, she's also 21. She's got time to grow. I was probably hella annoying when I was 20 as well, so. I'm just trying not to cringe through this whole she's video. She's 21. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Before 25, I give you a pass. Yes, I get it. A little, but, bit. But, but, a little bit. But the thing that happened is- really, A little bit. When I'm saying it's not real, I'm not talking about her not being real. Right? Just the, I'm the just image. saying, in general, what you see in social media is not real. That was not a dig at her. I don't know her. It would be crazy for me to say, she's not real. Because it's social media. And I'm judging her on social media to say that she's... I don't know whether she's real or not. That's what I'm saying. But the fact, social media is not a real place. And it's really hard to base yourself on that. This one video is on, so you can just stay on camera. Okay. Hey, how are you? Okay, oh, is, is this an actual person? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm a person. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, I'm Julia. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> It's your character. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Julia. <laughs> what hobbies are you into? <laughs> Hi. That's your kind of that's oh. your kind of manga girl. What's your sign? Aries. Ooh, fire queen. Did you say fire queen? Oh my god. I'm starting to realize. You're old as f <laughs> Nah, bro, you know what it is? I'm what just starting it? to realize, like, Jubilee's audience and how they act, and it makes sense why they're so popular. And that's why you're cringing. Yeah. That's why you're... Because I'm seeing their audience members, and yes. I'm like, bro. I'm a Virgo, but I'm a Sagittarius moon. Um, any hobbies? Um, all I do is study. I'm gonna be a pre-med student over there. I'm part of a dance team. Um, I'm a singer and a songwriter. You look so beautiful, by the way. I love your hair, so your dress. Your outfit, like your short hair. I wish I could pull it off. I cannot, but like, on. Girl, you could work it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's a return of the, oh my God. Yeah, do it. Oh my God. Oh my god, your hair, oh my god, your nails, oh but my god. But your hair is beautiful. Want, oh my god, but your hair is better. Oh my god, look at your nails. I wanna, oh my god, you saw, y'all so, so, so soft skin. Oh my god. But you're a model. No, but you're, you're, you're natural. Like, oh my god, oh my. She is very pretty, so. And you know, she uh, asked me about myself. Like, I honestly think that was a really sweet aspect of her. So made me feel very good. So that's also a plus. It's not how the person is. It's how they make you feel. Okay, all right, let me play devil's advocate. 
So the point of the video was to say like, oh my God, we, we rate people and sometimes we're not accurate, we do it on snap judgment. And then you proceed to tell people to rate her based off of snap judgments. You're not doing the devil's advocate. Okay, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I'm, I'm just trying to walk through the thought process. Mm, I see. So maybe the point of the video is to be like, we view ourselves worse than how other people view us. Maybe, okay. If not, maybe the point of the video, I feel like they failed any way that you look at it. Because at least if they had had the same people rate her just by her voice, then by her Instagram, then by um, but pictures, then, but then and then and then and then by her, then you could have at least seen the progression of whether or not they found her more attractive when they discovered more layers. Yeah, but it, uh, okay, I see. What you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't understand the point of the video or what they were trying to get at. Especially if you take different people. But yeah, is she more attractive when you see her uh, on Instagram? Sure. Why? Because you're seeing her pictures when they're all photoshopped. That's why she got a higher sc score there. Okay. Was she as attractive when she was on the phone? No, because you're limiting how you can perceive someone. So yeah, you when I watch these videos, right? Because to be fair to Jubilee, there, there were a couple middle grounds that I actually thought were interesting or some mm -hmm. conversations. But I think they dropped the ball so much with the, with the structuring of the video. Or maybe that's exactly what they want to do because of the audience. The audience like that, so they keep on doing that. They're not pleasing us because we're not the audience. Sure. Sure. I just think there's a good opportunity there, and and I, and I do think they are trying. I think they to, have what? I five, think they're trying, and I just think they they don't realize that sometimes they fail. They have what? Five million subscribers. Some people must like it. Oh. I mean, sure. Some people must like it. So I'm just saying. And as far as Julia goes, like you know whether she's a good person or not, don't know, don't really care. If we're talking about attractiveness, if you want to talk about like, you no, know, how do you view her as a person? I wish they would have also defined it. Do you find her physically attractive? How do you rate someone? Yep. I, I guess maybe the point of the video is to say everyone rates people differently on different criteria. Some people rate people based off of the fact that you make them feel good. Other people rate them based off of physical attractiveness. Other people rate them how annoying they are. Yeah, but uh, it's interesting. Here's what I know about these ratings, though, and why they're trash. People will say, oh, I'm rating the people based off how they made me feel. But then you'll be a super ugly person. People will be like, oh, my God, you got an amazing personality, but they won't fuck you. So that's why these ratings are trash to me. Because they're not real. Nah, they, it's like you want to rate someone, and at the same time, you're rating yourself. Yeah. It's like whenever you rate, they're rating them. You want to... You want to pass as you're a good person yeah. while giving you a rating. Because, you know, rating is basically judging someone yeah. and you don't want to look judgmental. So what you do is that you rate the person. But since it's in, in this format, you want to not look like you're a jackass. Here's the thing. If you wanted to make a whole commentary about snap judgments and all this stuff, you should have defined things a little bit more clear. Mm. And you also should have been honest about the fact that when we make snap judgments, we do it based off mostly about what people look like. Yeah. That, that was just my, my thoughts on it. Uh, but maybe you guys have different thoughts. Maybe we missed it and we dropped the ball. Uh, in the end, those were my thoughts on this video. What do you guys think? Yeah, we used to, used to have this one private in the military. His name was Private Hornsby. You want to know what his job was? Refrigerator tech. He used to go, Hi, I'm Private Hornsby, Refrigerator Tech 942. <laughs> I was like, Is this nigga out of a comic book? Oh. He was so meme You know what Hornsby looked like? He looked like Gollum if Gollum had been fed well. And. <laughs> you think what I was oh, wow. Oh, man. He was, he. Joining the military, bro, I never met so many memes in my life. Yeah. I agree. And this man, that's like, I, I didn't exaggerate his voice. I, I can't even do how high. Hi, I'm Private Hornsby, Refrigerator Tech 942. I even remember his number. That's his uh, serial that's, number. That's, yeah. Because everyone gets it. Yeah. Everyone yeah, gets yeah, yeah, yeah. it. That's what's on your plaque. And he was the only refrigerator tech I ever met in my life. It's a specialty, though. He get paid bonus. So all the shit I'm talking, this nigga was making almost double what I made. <laughs> refrigerator so, tech making all this money. So he, <laughs> he, could, he could talk all the you want, but he he he, he, he wants this. Hi, Abba. How are you today? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm off to do my rucksack march. <laughs> the same age as you. 
He was three years older than me. He went to community college, and that's how he became a refrigerator tech. I was I was 19, so I had no bed. This man. <laughs> hey. Yo, that's how he talked, bro. I, I never forget some of the people I met in the military. Yeah, the, the cadets was a bit it was a bit the same, but we were just younger. And it's just you 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 gave a lot of power to kids. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> so it, me personally, it gave me it, it gave me a lot of my yeah assertiveness. But you, it was you wonder the difference? Was, <laughs> what? First off, you have to be a grown adult making decisions during the military. And yeah. two, they gather people from all over the country, from environments you've never been to, or cultures you've never seen. That was summer camp. So they amalgamated everyone into this one area. And then you had to spend 60 days with yeah. them night and day. That was so, summer camp. That was wild. Summer camp is wild. Hi! <laughs> you see some new fees and you're never... You're like, what, 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 what do you want? No. Bagels? It's bagels. Bagels. Not bagels. <laughs> Talk bagels, bagels with cream cheese. Cream cheese. Like, uh, y'all motherfuckers don't say cream. <laughs> bro, the first time I heard like an East Coast accent, I was thrown the fuck off. Bro, it's I thick one. I love you. Hate Breton shit place like I never love heard. these. I love them. I yeah. love them. Yeah, yeah.